<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Well, I'm here. Let me say, let me be the first one to congratulate you on reaching Hunter Rank 49. Well, it's, a, it's an accomplishment. However, you may have just reached the first big roadblock in your, uh, well, Monster Hunter World adventure, I suppose. <laughs> I'm, of course, talking about the enraged Kirin that you have to beat in order to proceed to Rank 50. Yeah, not a fun fight, huh? Now let me let me give you some tips on how to do a little better in that fight. First and foremost, your armor selection is, is gonna be a bit tight if you're there. Chances are you haven't had the chance to make quite the armor set you might have wanted. So let me show you a few uh, armors that may help you out a little bit. Go down to your ingots, ingot, ingot set and look at this here. Now these have great thunder resistance and it's almost like they're built to do this. You see you've got health boost on the gloves there, thunder resistance on the armor, defense boost on the legs and windproof on the, uh, the belt there. Now, th this works extremely well, not only for the uh, the Kirin, but also for uh, the Kusladora, the the wind dragon, the ice dragon, which uh, that wind off that thing can be quite annoying. So, uh, mm, yeah, thunder resist is going to play a big part. Let's get this set on and see what we can get our thunder resist to, shall we? Now we're going to keep the Dragon King eye patch on for the weakness exploit, which is just such a good ability. I mean, you cannot beat that 30% increased affinity on weak spots. I mean, there's almost no reason to change your helm, ever. <laughs> uh, as far as jacket goes, like I said, we're going to go over to the ingot. There it is. Cool. All right. So right there, you can see right off the bat, thunder resist is up to 24, which is really good. However, we may be lacking in our decoration slots. Let's go ahead and take a look at this here. Yeah, you can see there, we've only got three slots. One of them is on my weapon and one of them on the Dragon King eye patch. Now, I do believe we are sitting at, if we look at our skills here, uh, what's Thunder Resistance? Is that two? So we want to bring that up to three. So if you have yourself a Thunder Resist gem, which you should have, I mean, they're fairly common. Plop that in there, bring your Thunder Resist up that extra eight points you get for bringing it up to the third level. Super useful. And now if we back out here and take a look at our stats, we should be seeing, yeah, 32 Thunder Resist. Useful, but I don't think it's quite there yet. The 30, or the 300, rather, defense is also rather low. Now, you can negate that, uh, if you really wanted to, let me back out of my menu here, by upgrading this armor, this ingot set at the uh, smithy here. However, eh, the overall defense of the armor, most of the attacks coming out of Kirin are elemental. I mean, th you're not going to get hit by a lot of physical attacks. Let's let's talk about the next big thing we need to worry about, though. And that is our little helper over here, the muscular chef. <laughs> we want to buy us a meal. Now, we don't want to just go straight for the chef's choice platter. I mean, it... It's easy, and it's there right away. No, we need to go custom platter because we want to get our defenses up even higher. This is not a, uh, a DPS fight. It's not something that you really need to have a whole bunch of damage. Granted, you need to kill the thing, but you, it's more a problem of staying alive than it is anything. So let's go in here, and what you want to do is get yourself some veggies. Now, before the quest, you're going to have the chance to sort through these, and you can find the fresh ingredients and try and get a health boost. But really, it's not going to matter. This is going to be one of those fights that you'll do once, and then you'll figure out a better way to do it. You'll get better as you progress. So really, getting through this first one solo, mind you. You want to do this solo because that proves you're good, right? You're not a man unless you kill this Kirin, this enraged Kirin solo, right? So just throw on all these here. Uh, these are all the fruits. Is that is that what these are? Fruits-ish? They look like radishes in the picture, but yeah, you know what? It doesn't matter. So there we go. You can see the elemental resist large is what we're getting for that. Let's see what difference that makes in our resist, shall we? Ah, there we are. You can see the resists are up to 47 with that food buff. Now that, now we're getting towards what some good resists can look like. Now let's talk about some weapons, shall we? Kieran has that unfortunate advantage of having the lightning armor on his ass, so he can be pretty problematic when it comes to actually getting a hit to go through that. Now, there's a few ways to negate this. One, if you're using the insect glaive, you can use the, uh, the inherent, I suppose they call it mind's eye ability. When you're in the air and you use your heavy circle attack, you do kind of the flurry combo. Yeah, there it is there. You... That doesn't tink. Now, if you just swing regularly on his armor, you're going to tink. Especially when, well, when he's powered up, obviously. Uh, you can also negate that by equipping yourself something with a white sharpness. Now, this <laughs> that's not a lot of white sharpness on the end of this weapon. My, where is it at? There it is. Vice there has a lot more white sharpness to it. However, you'll see it has the hidden element attribute. Which, fire is good on this monster. However, getting to the hidden element stat, not really going to be able to do that with this current setup. And not cheaply, so... Eh, I'm going to avoid the hidden element. This is really a low damage weapon. You may have different options depending on your uh, your weapon of choice. I mean, I'm sure you've got a white sharpness blade somewhere. White sharpness will cut through that armor, but you will dull your blade super fast. But it does help a whole bunch to even be able to hit him and not tink. Now, there is this unfortunate thing during the fight called Thunder Blight. Now, you're going to get hit by it. Uh, let's just face it. You're going to get hit by a thunder attack here and there. 
and it's gonna cause Thunder Blight. Now, there's a few ways to negate that. You could be wearing the, uh, you could be wearing the Xenojiva coil, which does help with the, uh, Blight resistance. It reduces the duration of all the Blights by 60%. That does help, however, uh, chances are in the middle of the fight you're gonna have to consume either a Null Berry or just roll a bunch, really. I think it takes, like, if you're on lowest, uh, Blight cutting, it takes six rolls, seven rolls, so... Uh, as soon as you notice yourself getting hit by the Thunder Blight, you notice the sparkiness, just give her a few rolls. Get that Thunder Blight off there, because you do not want to get stunned. On that note, having a stun resist gem, uh, if you have an open slot, definitely does help, but is not entirely necessary. In this case, I may actually do that. Well, never mind. I don't actually have that gem, so <laughs> never mind on that one, cancel. Uh, earplugs and, uh, you know, the other gems, don't worry too much about those. I keep calling them gems. Decorations is what they're called proper. Oh, and as far as mantles are concerned, they're not really, uh, strictly necessary, I don't think, but you will gain a little bit of help. Uh, Vitality Mantle, Thunder Mantle, uh, whatever you can find that helps. Uh, in all honesty, if you can switch between Vitality and Thunder, you're gonna have a good time, but, uh, at the end of the day, it's gonna come down more to avoiding his attacks than it is uh, tanking through his attacks. Now, they do help if you want to get in and cut down that armor as fast as possible. Which, uh, having Elder Seal does help for, I think. I'm pretty sure, because you can get those knockdowns. He is a rather light, uh, light? He's a rather weak monster. He's not, he doesn't have a lot of health. He's not a healthy monster, so... You don't have to worry too much about getting a whole bunch of damage down on him right away. Now then, all that said, we're gonna have to get in there and get a fight going. We're gonna have to look at his attacks, kind of analyze this. I can't really give you the feel of the fight, but I can kind of tell you what his attacks are generally gonna do. Uh, really, it comes down to just learning it. If you can do the high rank version a few times and kind of figure it out, you'll, you'll have a lot better of a feel for this monster. Okay, now when you get into this fight initially, you're gonna want to not die. <laughs> you, you don't want to take that first death because you'll lose your elemental resist. Now that's why I said the big health doesn't matter because we're just gonna go ahead and use a max potion right away. Give us that additional 40 health. Now don't hate me. I don't have a high rank Kieran investigation. I'm sorry. Or I don't have an uh, enraged Kieran investigation. I just have this high rank Kieran uh, quest. Now this, uh, uh, bear with me, don't leave. I understand, you know. It's not the enraged version, but still. This will show the attacks and that's what we're here for. Oh, and if you were wondering where to look for this thing, Right up here, you go to your second level. He generally, he likes to stay up in this, well, I suppose I can zoom in here and actually show you the friggin' map. He likes to stay up in this area here. Now, it, it's, he kind of moves around a little bit, so if he's getting that up in that area there, I'm sure you can find tracks of some nature somewhere. Follow the, follow the blue trail. <laughs> you can see I don't have much, much investigation points on him right now. Uh, that's mainly, ooh, electrified fur, hey, there he is, hey, buddy. Look at him, he's majestic. That might be a big one. Is that a big one? Hold on. Let's look at this here real quick. No, come here, buddy. That is a hilarious animation, by the way. Look at him. <laughs> oh, it should be noted in this area as well, there's a lot of these wedge beetles. So if you just look around, you see all the wedge beetles everywhere? They're all over the place and super useful if you need to move around the map. Uh, it's kind of difficult sometimes to use them, but he likes to jump down in this area here. I understand it's kind of hard to tell where I'm at. Let me hit the map here. He likes to jump down and play around in this area with a lot of ledges. Uh, there's a lot of wedge beetles in here, and if you use them properly, they will help you immensely in moving around during this fight. He does engage sometimes in this area, so be aware that the wedge beetles are there, and they're they're there to help you. They will help you get out when you need to get out, so, you know, just know that they're there. You know, just just aim your little uh, slinger at them and hit circle. It's, it's really forgiving on where you aim, so just, okay, I say that and then I fail it. <laughs> really forgiving on where you aim, so just aim up there, hold your R1 while you're doing it. Super easy. Here he is. There's the majestic guy. How big is he? Ah, uh, he's not a very big one. He's a small one. He's a small little guy. That's all right. So, he doesn't... Wow. Okay. He doesn't aggro you immediately. Uh, he just kind of wanders around. He doesn't really care. <laughs> you can uh, draw him around if you wish with, uh, with red pits. Uh, I'm just going to wait for him to get out of this area before I engage. Because I do not like fighting him up here. And you should probably do the same. If he ever comes up here, just wait him out. You have plenty of time to finish this, uh, this quest. So just, just take your time, man. Take your time. Land on him. Yes! <laughs> Alright, now this is where I want to engage him. Now with the Insect Glaive, I have a slight advantage, and I'll show you that here in a second. It mainly comes in and dodging one of his main attacks that really can be annoying and hard to see. Uh, not that one. That's his big lightning attack. You want to avoid that at all costs. That is not something you want to get hit by. Also, if he happens to be charging around and he hits you with his horn... Oh, I should have left my cat at home. Uh, it may or may not work to uh, leave your cat back at home, but if you need to get in more, if you find yourself getting hit by his lightning attacks that are coming down while you're in on him, uh, chances are you can leave your cat at home, and he won't attack next to him. Uh, that also makes him use his ranged attacks a lot more. But, you know, that's one of those things, it depends on your weapon. I cannot seem to pull a red boost to save my life. There's his big lightning attack right there. You see that come out? He has a big charge up on that. Chances are you're going to be able to avoid it. He has one on his body you just saw there. Not quite as much of a call on that one, but still pretty obvious. 
There's the regular lightning, not a damaging one. Now we should be able to get some hits here. And well, now I just took a hit from that big lightning. You'll see the damage is minimal at best. Now even even if you consider this isn't an enraged Kirin, that attack normally does a whole bunch of damage. Uh, one problem you're gonna run into when you're boosting off this guy, if you're running an insect glaive particularly, uh, he's very hard to hit in the head. You kinda have to wait for your opportunity. Now he, right now he's being really nice and just sitting still. There's another big lightning attack, which means he's gonna do the butt shake. Uh, nope, he's gonna attack around himself. There's the stun coming out, that's what I'm talking about. And the big lightning right behind it. Boom! That hurts a lot. A lot of damage. Oop, there's his main ranged attack. And this... Why did I crouch? This could be a big problem. I thought I had my weapon out. Uh, especially if you're, uh, compromised positionally or if you're in a small little area. That attack can do a whole bunch of damage really fast. Uh, especially when he likes to chain him. Uh, you'll see a, an attack in here where he charges at you and hits you with his horn. Okay, now he's got his lightning armor on. Now is when we switch into a oh damn it, I'm stunned again. See, not great. Lightning blight. This is this is what I'm talking about. Thunder blight. Not a good uh, not a good effect. You do not want to have that. You want to avoid it as much as you can. When he's running around like that, you can just just ignore ignore him. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. That attack we can dodge with the insect glade by just getting in the air, and we'll just use this to cut through his uh, his lightning armor. Uh, that's the heavy circle in the air that I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and heal here. Taking quite a few more hits than I'd like to, mostly because I'm trying to talk while doing this, and it's, uh, it, it's, it's a technical fight. Uh, if you played, uh, Dark Souls at all, you know, you probably know all about these technical boss fights. They can be a pain in the ass, but once you learn them, you, you know them. I mean, you know them completely. If you do manage to get a knockdown on this monster, make sure you focus down that horn. You can get body hits, but you really need to focus down that horn. Once the horn is off this monster, he is really kind of a pussycat. Uh, mostly because it negates the majority of his ranged attacks. It should be noted that his triple lightning attack on the ground always runs in straight lines parallel to each other. So if you find yourself running back and forth in between the lines, just try following along the side of one line. Granted, they are hard to see on the ground, but it definitely helps to try and run with the lines. As opposed to trying to get your spacing perfectly even in between two lines. Or even better, get in the air if you have the insect glaive. Oh, I should also mention, when you're going through that section with the Wedge Beetles, make sure you unlock him, because he can swing your target lock, and it'll, uh, it'll make you miss a very important jump. And that is that! Now granted, the uh, Enraged Kirin will do quite a bit more damage, so it's gonna take a bit of effort to learn these attacks, and figure out what you're doing. Now the only thing I can say more than this is, get in there, fight you some of these bad boys. You're gonna die a lot at first. I died on this one, and I've killed like ten of these damn things. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully this is helpful to somebody. My link for Twitter is down in the description. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, maybe I'll see you guys around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs>